So we're leaving our Athens Airbnb to go to the airport. And we're exiting this uh, elevator, which doesn't have security doors. It was kind of mm -hmm. funny for this apartment. Yeah, so keep that in mind when you're traveling to Athens. And so we're saying goodbye to... This beautiful Greek city. And we're going to the island of longevity, which is... Ikaria, in the Aegean Sea and Ikarian Sea. Korea was an epic island. It was an amazing trip. Right now we're going through airport and right now we're going to the lounge uh, in Athens. Priority pass lounge called Gold Air Handling Lounge and it, it was an amazing lounge. There are other lounges that you can access using your priority pass card which we get through our Chase Sapphire credit card. Yeah, you, we used to hate going to airports but now we arrive like three, four, sometimes five hours before our departure and then we just go to several lounges and mm -hmm. they're complementary with our annual membership for the credit card which is Chase Sapphire and we left a link in, in the, the description. description. And yeah, this lounge was amazing, this Gold Air Handling Lounge. Uh, there are actually two of these lounges, so one for international flights and one for domestic flights and this one was for domestic ones. You can see a lot of variety for as far as food goes and we arrived like a little bit after breakfast or it's still during breakfast but it's going to turn into lunch soon so right now it's all breakfast food so we're just uh, showing you here they have drinks uh, this orange drink all the usual suspects cereal cereal for breakfast and they have a variety of milks to choose from such as almond milk uh, which is amazing and dairy free options dairy options as well as dairy free dairy options free. Uh, butter uh, yogurts yogurts for almond milk yogurts uh, almond milk puddings and this is a chocolate pudding it was very delicious It was one of the best, probably, uh, lounge, what do you think, that we visited so far? Probably, yeah, uh, uh, just because it's a lot of variety of food, the atmosphere was amazing. Especially in the mornings, right? Yes, the mornings are great because there are a few people and it's all, like, all to yourself. We came many hours before our flight, so we can stay like five hours at this lounge. So as you can see, there are a lot of Greek local uh, food varieties, like, like these panakoptis and mm -hmm. uh, spinach pies, cheese pies, cheese pies, and with phyllo dough. These were like uh, omelets, omelets uh, rolled omelets. Uh, they were pretty good. I like yeah, them. Yeah, and this is just breakfast with a lot of variety. And what I like about this lounge especially is that it had like almost all Greek foods. That was great when you're traveling to try different kinds of food, Greek foods. It's not the case everywhere, but in many places you get to taste local uh, cuisine. Like we've been to Poland, we tried yes. Polish dish, dishes yes. in, in their lounges in Krakow. But this lounge especially yeah. in Greece, in Athens, was especially incredible with so much variety. Mm -hmm. They even had alcohol options, all Greek. Yeah, so the wine was pretty good. Mm -hmm. I, I really liked it. Um, I haven't tried actually Greek uh, wine before. Yeah, so it you can just go good. to these lounges and just try all these foods. Yeah, like those sodas, uh, water. I, I really enjoy drinking mineral water, bottled mineral water. Mm -hmm. And you can also get like a whole liter of uh, juice to yourself if you want to. Uh, also about the wines, the wines they had uh, like a Greek native varieties, mm -hmm. which was something that was different from... Yeah, and there's it, so many of them too. Yeah, it wasn't like uh, some generic Cabernet, it was yeah. so something like a very specific variety, I mm -hmm. forgot the names. Yes, we're going to try one and show you the, the best one that we enjoyed. So they also had this detox had, water. And over, yeah. Uh, they had some nice cookies, snacks, yeah, small teas. Snacks. 
and yeah it's it's just one of the best lounges we've visited so far just because of the variety and the mm. interior was very uh, modern yes. uh, very li well lit and mm. uh, we we had a good time working there as well yes. yeah this an espresso machine yeah so here it is the modern interior very nice and the employees are very friendly cleaning up after you and the bathrooms, I love the bathrooms, uh, they're very modern. Yeah, we put our uh, computers and stuff. And yeah, grabbed a few work. things here and there. Yeah, and then just eating a little bit at a time. <laughs> Got some spies and cappuccino. Yeah, cappuccino is my favorite mm -hmm. in lounges. There's some honey and cereal with milk, just regular breakfast items and there are some sandwiches too. And there's some almond milk yogurt. It's a Greek uh, brand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, vegan options. Coffee machine that uh, we like using in lounges when we travel. Mm -hmm. Typically don't drink coffee, not really a coffee drinker, but uh, I love cappuccino, mm -hmm. I've always can get it in lounges and it has a decaffeinated uh, decaf, a ca cappuccino, decaf. yeah, which is amazing because usually when we traveled there wasn't a decaf cappuccino machine mm -hmm. for some reason, but here it's great and it's very fun to press, press the buttons and then watch it produce the, the, the drink for you mm -hmm. and it makes a small portion at a time, which is good Back to our desk and eat. <laughs> and then come back for another one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very fun. Yeah, after uh, we discovered uh, the Chase of Fire card, we just uh, love going to lounges mm -hmm. everywhere we travel. The internet typically is pretty good, but uh, for some reason in this lounge, it was so so, but mm -hmm. there was an airport wide uh, yes. Wi Fi which we connected and it was uh, pretty good. I think here we were just uh, a little bit far mm. from the router, so maybe that's why it was a little bit bad. Yeah, we, they probably just didn't have like an extend, ex, uh, extensioner for mm -hmm. the internet, so, but it was, which, it was, which was weird, but yeah. But it was still uh, it was still okay. We, we didn't need like a very high Wi-Fi. And beautiful views of uh, the Athens is surrounded by mountains. And we tried some rosé wine, which was really nice. This red wine was really great, and we're gonna show you the bottle in just a moment. Yeah, all these are Greek varieties that we tried, mm -hmm. which was something like you used to Italian, you know, maybe yeah. Californian wine, but Greek wine was very good. So here it is, the label. So it was uh, Santali wine. Uh, and the brand you can see it's in Greek. Yeah, there, there is some uh, English. But it's a really nice wine, which was uh, very rare that uh, the lounge has a nice wine. I started bringing out these desserts around lunchtime. It's uh, chocolate cakes, uh, cherry. It's very delicious. Yeah, it was one of the best. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not like an entire mousse type of dessert it's it has a like a layered like a cake yeah like a cake. layers of um, and the chocolate ones were a bit strong but the the lemon one was nice got some sandwiches which are also really delicious so i guess these are some greek sandwiches with turkey they say yeah we fell in love with this uh, sparkling water it's a uh, local greek uh Orange Sp juice. Orange juice. Uh, it's sort of like a Fanta, but much better, like mm -hmm. no artificial flavors and uh, very delicious, like juice, orange juice with uh, sparkling water. Amazing. I started bringing out these lunch items, so more sandwiches. And the sandwiches were actually pretty delicious. And then there's a salad, quinoa salad, Greek salad. They had a lot of feta cheese, but people would take the feta Selectively, cheese. yeah. So sometimes they ran out. What's that red thing? I keep forgetting. The beet hummus. Oh. 
I don't think I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> and they also had a fava bean spread, which was really delicious. Yeah, that was good. So a lot mm. of local items again. Mm -hmm. And this chicken with vegetables, rice. Very flavorful uh, meals. And then this eggplant with uh, cheese. Two, yeah, with feta cheese. Very mm -hmm. delicious. Mm -hmm. with tomatoes. I would say, like, probably I liked everything except for that beet. <laughs> I like that beet. I, 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 liked, I liked everything here, basically. Mm -hmm. Even the sandwiches are great. And you get hungry a lot when you're... It's kind of stressful when situation. You're traveling, yeah. yeah, so... Yeah, this uh, orange drink is amazing. There was something similar in, uh, in the Korea Islands. Yes. Uh, their local production, uh, it was really good. Bye bye. So, goodbye to that lounge. We really liked it. Well, hopefully, we'll be back. Here's the lounge at the exit. And we're heading to our gate because uh, it's a little bit of a long walk to the gate. So, keep that in mind. Yeah, so flying to Korea, it's. Uh... Relatively small flight, a small airplane. It's gonna be flying two or three times in the summers. I don't know, maybe off season it's probably one time, once a week. We don't know. Yes, sure. It changes. Unfortunately, our flight was delayed a bit and we mm. didn't know at the time, so we should have stayed a little bit more at the lounge. Yeah, so as we keep walking, we pass by these uh, restaurants, small uh, sandwich shops, and um, we understand the value now of uh, having the access to lounges because yes. you don't have to worry about food or paying because typically airport food is pricey. Flight is late. It wasn't the season yet, tourist season. Mostly local people. I saw like yes. uh, senior, Mostly, senior yeah. women. Icarians. Icarians. And the airline sent us a text saying that uh, it was delayed as well, so that's handy. Yeah, it was uh, one of the best decisions to go there in May because uh, there were not that many tourists. It was very quiet and peaceful. We headed to the bus that transferred us to the airplane. And it, the airplane is very small, so we drive a bit far to get to it. It was the first time we flew in this uh, small airplane. The, the entire flight uh, duration is less than an hour, but it's, it was pretty, pretty amazing that mm -hmm. uh, most, most of the time these days, uh, short flights, they don't serve anything to you. Maybe water, maybe, maybe not. Usually not. Not even not that, but uh, the, the Greek airlines were great. Well, pretty comfortable seats and everything. It was a bit scary with the propellers uh, to the side to that. Yeah, it's probably an older older model. Yeah. And it was a bit scary because reading online about uh, how shaky it could be. But thankfully, uh, it was good weather that day. We could have taken the ferry to go to Ikaria Island, but uh, with the ferry typically, for some reason, arrived late at night. So it wasn't very convenient. But they arrived to very like specific ports. It's like yes. if you want to go to a specific city, for instance, it's not possible. Yeah, so we, we wanted to start our journey from the south of the, of the island. So that was uh, great to, to arrive there. Nick magazine with a lot of Greek uh, stuff written in it. But we didn't understand it, unfortunately. <laughs> Propeller-based uh, airplane. Oh, the weather is a bit rainy, but uh, it's a short flight. So even though uh, there's some cloud cover, we basically didn't didn't fly mm -hmm. above it. We just flew probably just slightly below it, 
because it's a short duration flight. So we didn't experience yeah. much turbulence. And it was a very scenic flight too. Uh, we passed by many islands and uh, the pilot would say well, which island we're passing by. It was mm -hmm. very fun. some snacks. Amazing, some, yeah, for a short duration flight. Some cookies and water. water. And big, pretty big bottles of water actually for a flight. So the Greek airlines are very nice, even though they can be late sometimes, but mm -hmm. they're very nice as far as customer service goes. And here we saw some beautiful views. And here we are passing by Ikaria Islands. We're gonna get a whole panoramic view of it when we're flying over it. Yeah, it's a little hazy, it's a rainy day, but uh, still you get a very beautiful view of the island. Um, looks tiny from the airplane, but uh, when you drive around it, it's... Uh... Yeah, and you may notice uh, that it's very green. It has a lot of uh, very many plants and trees uh, compared to the other Greek islands, which are more desert-like. So that's one big... Uh, already difference between this island and the other islands and why perhaps longevity is prevalent here. Yeah, because they probably have uh, lots of uh, mountain springs uh, which you know, flow through the island and they allow the vegetation to grow there. So here we are landing there. The uh, landing lane, um, the runway is pretty short there. It's a small airport. Yes. It's like we've been taken back like 50 years or something. And it's very vintage and retro. Very but, small airport. Uh, mm. But I, still, I, I love it. Did we pass by Faros, the town of Faros village? So now that we arrive to Ikaria, we're gonna be staying there for two months. So stay tuned for more videos and subscribe to our channel. We'll have a lot to share about this longevity island that uh, where people live to 100 and more. I'm going to show you many uh, unknown places have uh, beautiful nature, beautiful beaches, underwater shots. The hot springs that we visited. Foods from the islands. And as we tried in restaurants as well as shared by our hosts. wild lavender tea. We'll show you a lot of interesting things that we discovered for ourselves uh, on a quest to, dis to know what's the truth behind the longevity in this yes. island. Um, many things like not only food but also the environment, so the physical activity, the as social aspect. We stayed in the Korea for two months uh, and we went all around the island starting from Faros and all the way to a clockwise, tried many things, explored and uh, asked questions uh, from local people and uh, we're gonna show a lot of uh, and share this a lot of this information on our channel so stay tuned for that.